Hello, this is um, Helga. It's a, it's a test. Testing. One, two, three. Alright. I'm just going to test if my calculator works. This is my user interface on um, Unity. Uh, as you can see, I, I'm able to um, get these values. Calculate, um, calculate them, erase new values. Um, I can take like, square root of mine and calculate them. Um, also, uh, like uh, eight modulus uh, five, and get get the right results. So you can see all my. Um, work properly. Um, I've got a, a, a constant pi and uh, if you press equals you will get the new value and you can calculate. So the constant the constant um, can also be there. Um, and if I want to store it, I've got the store button. And uh, if I um, got a restore, I got the restore button as well, uh, which works probably. Uh, so like all of my buttons here, they work like two point three six. Five, five, five. You know, you can, you can see this works. Um, cool point. So yeah, <coughs> I got this user interface. All these buttons over here. Um, they're bound to certain uh, methods in the script, as you can see here. Uh, a safe operations uh, uh, method in the, in the script. So all of them, all of the. The buttons are connected to the scripts. Um, here, got the uh, the code itself. Uh, yeah, basically, like in the in the beginning here, there is a lot of um, variables. Um, this uh, text here is, uh, yeah, as you can see here. <laughs> It is uh, input from the user interface from the the bottom, um, the, the the top one over here, the new text here, the top one here. Okay, so that's um, that variable. It's it's a string. Now we got a double um, for results. Uh, it's it's also the double temp save are both uh, storing uh, like values for calculation uh, later on. Then we got another string called operation. Uh, it stores information from the user interface, uh, like the uh, these here, the, the what, what you call it, operands, I guess. Um, then we got uh, the multiplier, which is being used for um, to making floats, we'll see that later on. Um, and then we got a store unit for yeah the store function and the calculator as well. Right here in the um, in the, um, in the word, word start method, we've um, we identified the result button which is, um, again, the top one up here. Um, and uh, we store the data from there um, to a string called um, result text. Yeah. And that's, that's a string, so we can, you know, uh, manipulate it 
and, uh, and use it um, later on. So it's 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 the um, it's the string which is being updated, which makes it able for us to see up here, um, like the new text, uh, like the new digits um, that we use, right? Um, okay, so what we've got down here, um, the method here is actually uh, just a simplification when we need to uh, update the calculator and write um, digits. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, the next piece of code here, the clear result, it actually um, it's just being used for one key, the clear key over here, this one. So it um, it it just resets the um, different variables to to like zero and one just to you know then we can start a new. Um, so that that's what this um, piece of um, code here does. Uh, then we got the save operation um, string. It's a method assigned uh, to uh, most of the operating buttons. Um, it is uh, an operation we will use later on, the, um, but it is actually a, a string to that which uh, holds information about what, what kind of operands uh, we've pressed down. Um, temp save is, is uh, getting assigned the, the value of the result, and the result is being um, reset to zero. So, you know, um, when I have pressed five and then times something, then it, you know, the five uh, variable is being put into the temp save, and the result is being reset to zero. And the multiplier is being set to one, but that's just for um, uh, that's just for um, you know multiply. We'll 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 talk about it right down here, right? And um, result te text dot text equal operation. It just you know uh, it updates the. Um, the like uh, symbols from the buttons like plus minus and so forth um, all right but what we've got here is um, like the multiplier function so if the multiplier is one um, if we haven't been touching um, the, um, the dot sign here um, then you know um, if I type in five, and then I'm going to then I'm typing in uh, five again. Then result is being timed by ten, so it's going to be fifty, and then it adds the new result to it, so it's going to be fifty-five. Um, and you know in the same but different, like uh, the opposite is is um, down here, because uh, when the if the multiplier isn't set to one, then uh, the result equals uh, d times multiplier, and the d is uh, the integer, the integer which you know is anyone uh, that we're we're um, using, and um, and the mo if it if it isn't set to one, then we'll see here down here it's being set to zero point one. So um, you know any integer that we press is times zero point one. Um, so and and also here it is uh, seeing that multiplier is being divided by um, by ten for each step. So you know we can incrementally uh, decrease the value of the of the, of the double. And then you know it updates to um, to the text field, you know, in the top here. All right, and then we've talked about the multiplier here. 
um, yeah and you know it's only this one you know which uses this m uh, method so it's only when we press that one that we will get you know uh, this result down here okay uh, like lastly but not least we've got all the uh, like um, operations okay and it's a switch case um, which use the uh, string operation An operation is uh, up 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 here being set to whichever uh, button that we use uh, that we press like uh, minus uh, times divided by you know um, so it, it states that if the operation is equal to plus then the result is equal to temp save like the first the first value um, insert in the calculator plus the new uh, value that have has been inserted to the to the calculator and then you know it 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 updates um, further down right and, and and the same case is with minus uh, times and you know um, it just checks if if uh, you know the string operation is equal to any of these signs um, so yeah you know I don't think I should you know explain every single one of them but uh, you know uh, the square root you know if, if it's uh, squared the symbol squared uh, it has been pressed down then the result is going to be the square root of the um, of the uh, of the new value uh, pressed okay and uh, pi is just equal to uh, pi so if you over here you press you know you run it and you press pi and then you press uh, equals to uh, then it will uh, show the uh, value of pi uh, and I got a uh, you know and also the Euler constant as well I've got implemented but also uh, like a you know an off button which will uh, stop the application um, whenever it's being pressed so okay uh like um lastly um i've got the operational um no no the store <laughs> the store and restore um function here so you know if if um you know again it's it's it's, it's using the uh, if uh, the string operation is is uh, equals to the store like here then it will take um the store int which is which is a double it's not an integer but uh, it will take this value and save the temp save as uh, this value um, so it's assigning temp save to the store end and also uh, if uh, you know a restore the restore button is used um, then you know the result is equal to store and then it will show display the um, the stored value up here and uh, yeah this is just you know as it says here uh, clears the operation so it won't reiterate the operation you know it's 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 just so when I'm trying to if I'm pressing five times five um, it will only do it once and not many times if I just press the times button like like a maniac. So, yes, this was my presentation. Um, yep. Thanks for watching. Bye.